Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So today I thought I'd go through my product empties and this is my first one. I've, I have basically been storing up these products for like the past two months I want to say, maybe slightly over and I'm starting to feel like a hoarder and I need to throw these things away. So um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. The products I have are divided into hair care and skin care and um, some body care as well. So yeah. So I thought I'd just quickly talk through the things I've used up and whether or not I'd actually actually repurchase them. I don't know about you but I actually like watching videos like this and it, it's basically a good way to um, know whether or not um, to, to recommend products. Knowing that they've actually used them up gives me the confidence that they can actually, um, that gives me the confidence in their opinion of the product. If I like something you might not like it um, so obviously there's no guarantee that uh, it's going to work out for you. If you do like my content please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss another upload from me and yeah. So the first thing I want to talk about are um, probably what I have less of out of everything because I have a lot of skincare um, rather than, yeah, so I have a lot of skincare and to be honest I haven't actually remembered to keep everything I have used. Um, this is basically what I've remembered to keep. Um, so yeah, so the first item is this massive massive bottle in fact i'll face here so you can see it here this massive massive bottle that i bought from tk maxx and it's by the brand paris evoludum and um the name is in french it's like Le corp nourissant and it is basically a nourishing body milk um, with argan oil and shea butter and it's for very dry skin so i don't have very dry skin but i love my skin to feel nourished and moisturized that's probably the one thing i would say that i want for my skin over anything else and yeah so this is a, a thousand ml um bottle and it's that's 30 floor 34 fluid ounces say that's made in france and this, this just smells amazing and it lasts for ages so if you're one of those uh, mothers or anyone out there if you like to either buy in bulk save money or if you like to buy for the whole family this is great i always see it at tk maxx and i'm always i'm not always at tk maxx but when i go i have i've seen loads of um these uh, bottles at tk maxx and this is actually my second one i've tried another one and i can't remember I think that's, that was the shea butter one or something, I can't remember, but um, this is my second bottle and I forgot to keep that one basically, so yeah, this is my second bottle and the only thing I'll say is that this is nourishing but it's, for me it needs that extra oomph, so what I did was poured, um, I poured about, I think I poured about half my a half a bottle of my glycerin you can get glycerin at any of your um, drug stores super drugs boots if you're in the uk and it's about one pound 99 maximum and that's um th this is basically the second time i've ever done that and this is a, re a really good tip for you if you have a body lotion that you love 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 the scent of if you love the way it feels but you don't think it lasts on you in terms of you know keeping you moisturized put some glycerin in it the only thing that was that stops it from actually working the way you wanted it to and for it to last and moisturize your skin is probably because they didn't have enough glycerin. If you look at most of your skincare and ingredients, you probably find glycerin is in your top five at the most, at, yeah, at the least. It's usually top three, uh, it's a top three product. And glycerin is extremely moisturizing. It holds water, it's great for your skin and it just keeps it soft and supple. So I actually bought glycerin and I use glycerin in my toner. I'll leave a link to my DIY toner with glycerin in there. And yes, yeah, so I put glycerin in everything. If I have a body lotion that I don't think is moisturizing enough, I don't throw it away and I don't stop using it. I put glycerin in it and it's good to go. And this has this lovely scent as well. It lasts for a few, a few hours. So yeah, it's a very good kind of like family size um, uh, lotion and I use all this I use this all up by myself I did not share this this is all mine so yeah it took me a while but um, and I like rotating um, the products I use as well so th this wasn't the only thing I had and I think it took me about four months to finish this and that was with, with rotating it and I love to lather up a lot I use a lot of lotion so to think it actually lasted that long as well is actually a good thing and it cost me about 6.99 or so if I remember the price I'll let I'll let you know um, but yeah so this was at super drugs and you find you probably still find this super drugs this this was at TK Maxx, sorry, you probably still find it there because they sell a lot of Evo Ludum um, products at TK Maxx. So moving on to the second two bottles and they're from the same brand, they're from Garnier. I love Garnier products and the first one is the um, Ultimate Blends. It's from the Ultimate Blends range. This one is the Ultimate Blends Hydrate Hydrating Lotion and it's the Marvelous Oils, Argan and Camellia and it's for normal skin. 
this one is the ultimate blend body intense repairer lotion and it's maple it's called maple healer i think they all have different names this is the maple healer and this is marvelous oils and this has castor oil and maple sap in it and this for this is for dry and rough skin now ironically I found this to be a lot more hydrating it actually kept my skin so silky soft it was crazy this is for normal skin this is for dry and rough skin so yeah I don't know what they had in this that they didn't have enough of in this but this was a lot more moisturizing and if I had to pick between the two in terms of scent and in terms of how long it kept my body moisturized I would pick this one um, so yeah so this is uh, I, I would definitely if I saw if I went for this and I didn't find it in store I would pick this because I've, I've used both of them and they smell nice and they do moisturize your skin but this lasts longer with this one I did exactly what I did with my Evoluderm lotion I put glycerin in it and it was like butter it's just it was amazing so yeah like I said, if your lotion is not moisturizing enough, put glycerin in it, okay? If something doesn't taste nice, put glycerin in it. If your heels are cracked, put glycerin on it and it will be healed. So I'm telling you, glycerin is the key. So yeah, I love these two products. Um, yeah, I definitely would repur repurchase all three lotions that I've um, showed you so far. And in terms of the scent, I think I've just said I love the scent of this. This um, probably had a scent that I loved most. Um, and between the two, I definitely say I love the scent of this more. But again, if you're at, in the stores, try them and see what you feel about them. But either way, you won't be disappointed. But if you have dry skin, I'd actually say go for this one, which is for normal skin. It was more, in, um, it was more hydrating, in my opinion. And then the next thing that I want to go. through oh yes so yeah this is the only thing i remember to keep uh, which is shocking i have used loads of um shower lotions shower gels um but this i think maybe because the ones i use are kind of like bobby basics they're not really anything wow this was a uh, um kind of like an an impulse purchase and yes yeah, so i bought it online at super drugs and i actually normally i go into the store and i make sure i smell my shower lotions i have a thing about scent and i'm very picky so um for whatever reason i think i bought this based on the reviews and because it was on offer and it had really good reviews um about because basically it's 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 called the radix 12 hour scent touch and this is the feel lively one and this is the long lasting fragrance and it says it's released with touch the scent of this is wild peony and lychee and it's a body wash and you get how many do you get 200 mls and of these two bottles you get 400 mls of this by the way yeah so um i bought this because a lot, of the, a lot of the reviews said that the scent lasted like almost all day and i was like oh wow i'd love to have this i love to smell nice if i don't have to wear perfume or if i forget to wear perfume i have confidence that my body lotion would actually carry me throughout the day but um yeah so that didn't happen but it smelled nice enough in fact i've kind of forgotten yeah it's not nice enough it's not a scent i would actually repurchase again so i wouldn't repurchase this one because the scent didn't last as long as it said it was going to and because it's not my favorite scent i have to love a scent for me to buy like a shower gel or a body lotion and if i don't love it i won't buy it so yeah if you want to try it you can definitely try it because a lot of people did leave good reviews for this and that and that can't be for nothing so yeah if you're in super drugs um try it it might it might actually be on offer a lot of things are on offer at super drugs so yeah try this and it's by radox and then moving on to what should i move on to yeah so the one item of hair care so i have a lot of hair care and i'm looking to do a dedicated hair care video or maybe at least a few of them just to show you the products that i use but the one thing that um ever since i decided to start doing um to start keeping products for um a product mt's video um this is the one product i have actually used up because i have a lot of hair care on rotation i haven't used all of them in fact a lot of them are still quite full so um the only one i have used up is this and that's because i do wash my hair every week at the push at, at a push every two weeks if i don't have time and um this is a leave-in conditioner so i have loads of leave-in conditioners on the go this was the first one i finished and at the time i bought it because of again reviews um i didn't even know that palmas had branched that into hair care for whatever reason and this is the coconut oil one and the good thing about this is because it's kind of marketed as in like an all natural no parabens no sulfates you know all that stuff it's like ethically sourced and all that so um yeah so i bought this because of that and a lot of people said it really softened their hair and um 
on the like the reviews that I saw were for kind of black hair so um, people with relaxed and natural hair were all saying this really tough on their hair it, it detangled it conditioned and all that jazz so I bought it based on that I actually bought it with um, two other products which I haven't finished but I'll feature them now and I bought it with the conditioning shampoo and the repairing conditioner so I'll do a separate video on the three and um, the only thing with this is, so this actually says it's for dry damage or color treated hair, which I thought, well, this is good. My hair is treat, it's not treated, well, it's not color treated. It's damaged and kind of, t it's prone to dryness because it's relaxed. And maybe, we, oh, actually, my, my hair was prone to, to dryness anyway. Um, and it has, it says it has coconut oil, manoi oil, and silk amino acids. And it actually, it actually is really good at detangling. The only thing is I think it might actually be better for my daughter's natural hair than it was for my relaxed hair. I mean, it was good and I probably would buy it. Would I buy it? Yes, I would buy it again. I would buy it again and it has a really lovely, lovely, um, really um, natural coconut scent. It's so nice. And it's almost like a slightly creamy formula. It's not too watery at all. Um, yeah, so it I mean, it lasted a while as well. I don't think I needed a lot to soften her hair. I think the results were a lot more were a lot quicker to see on her hair than they were on mine. And you think natural hair would actually be a lot tougher to deal with than relaxed. But yeah, so um, I think it softened my hair the first few times I used it. But then I'm not sure if I can of like if it stopped working or it didn't work as well I don't know or maybe my hair was just going through a thing at the time going through a, tint, a thing at the time I'm not sure but yeah so this is a really good leave-in conditioner I mean it's not the best that I've tried so far but it's really really up there and you wouldn't be wasting your money if you bought it basically so yeah it has a really lovely smell her hair when I put it on my daughter's hair smells nice for at least two days yeah so and I actually use this to refresh her hair and I use it to refresh my hair as well not just when it's freshly washed but you know throughout the week if I fill my hair it's feeling dry I'll spray some of this and yes I would actually repurchase this I think it was like 3 dollars like the whole range is like 3 dollars ish there was one more product that I forgot to mention and this is a hair product so this is the organics organic smoothing there yeah? organic conditioning smoother and polisher it's a smoothing serum um, and it helps straighten straighten and eliminate frizz I can't read it helps straighten and eliminate frizz leaving a high glossy finish and I'm just reading off the bottle so moving on to skincare so um, I'm gonna go through my cleansers first I think I have one two Three. So I have three cleansers that I've remembered to save. I think I have one other one that I used up that I've actually forgotten and thrown away. But anyway, um, another skincare. So the first skincare products I wanted to talk about was my Garnier Skin Active Pure Active Intenses Intensive Daily Gel Wash for spots and blackheads. So that's a mouthful, and it contains a blueberry extract and two percent salicylic acid. It's for oily, spot-prone skin, and it's amazing. And um, the thing I like about this is that obviously it's a gel washer. It foams up, it lathers up, but I feel like it's giving me a deep clean. Clean, um, and despite the fact that it has um, salicylic acid in it it actually doesn't feel it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry and I felt like I definitely um, obviously in conjunction with all the other products I am using I didn't have any flare-ups I had maybe minimal spots if I did have them for the you know the first time in my life in my adult life whenever I had spots they did go like I didn't have to burst them I didn't have to pick at them they went like over say two or three days so if anything I was probably as a result of what I was eating rather than you know like hormonal um, acne or anything like that so this definitely kept the spots at bay for sure and I would definitely recommend this in fact if not, the, if not for the fact that I can't find this at super drugs or when I do go it's like sold out or when I try online it's sold out um, I wouldn't I wouldn't even have thought to buy any of the other Garnier gel washes that I'm currently using which are still good but if I had to pick I would definitely pick this one so yeah this is a really good buy and then moving on to the second um, kind of wash slash, actually no, I have another cleanser. So this is the um, simple kind to skin um, vital vitamin foaming cleanser. I like the fact that it has vitamins in it. And I think the vitamins in question are actually just vitamin B5 and vitamin C. So um, I like the fact that this really foamed up. It took off my, my makeup so, so well. 
I, I think I tended to use this at night for some reason so I was using this at night um, whereas this is my in shower gel wash from like just to wash off like my serums from the night before this I used to remove my makeup and I also use it in the shower sometimes as well so this is actually really nice obviously simple is a brand that everybody knows it's not harsh on skin it's good for sensitive skin and all that jazz um, it didn't have a scent to it and I feel like it was definitely very powerful for what it was because like I don't I don't know if it's just me but I feel like simple is kind of um, one of those brands that you just think or if you need something that's really really strong to get off you know a whole day's worth of makeup simple wouldn't be the kind of brand I would go for but this has proved me wrong and they do do you know products that are strong enough to actually thoroughly cleanse your skin and without irritating it as well which is really good it's a good combination the only thing is obviously it doesn't have any fragrance which is you know it's good if it's for sensitive skin I don't have sensitive skin so I do like my products to have some kind of fragrance to them like a light fragrance that's the only criticism of this and this was a really good buy and um, I just like the pump as well it has a really nice sturdy pump and it comes out in a foam so you don't need to kind of froth it up with water it comes out already like lathered and then you just put it on your face and then the other Garnier um, gel wash, I go through a lot of gel washes because obviously I need to get rid of my makeup and just to make sure that my, my skin is clean. Um, so the next one I want to talk about is the Garnier Pure Active Makeup Remover Purifying Gel and this is suitable for face and eyes and I love 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 this. Um, I love like the majority of this Garnier product, in fact I don't think I've ever tried a Garnier product I don't love or like at least. So um, this is the Makeup Remover Purifying Gel and it says it's 2 in 1, removes makeup even waterproof and targets imperfections and it's for oily skin um, prone to imperfections which is great it's perfume free and um, I think the ingredients what does it say it has eucalyptus oil in it and what else what else is a key ingredient in here that's the only thing that I can kind of decipher from the ingredients list and yeah so basically it's just a really really good deep cleansing um, facial wash that definitely gets rid of all your makeup and your eye makeup and I can attest to it removing um, waterproof mascara because sometimes I do wear that and it doesn't really bother this this gets it off I use this with my um, makeup remover flannel um, thing it's one of those pink makeup remover flannels that you get that you say is that says you're only supposed to use water with it I use that with my gel washes and it helps but yeah so with that and this it's a you know it's a really good combination to remove makeup and um, so yes yeah, so next was um, this was just a, um, this is a random product that I think I got either in a sample sale um, from work or I'm not sure if it was a TK Maxx products that I just forgot about and then I dug it up later I don't know but this is um, a brand um, called true and that's TRU <laughs> So this is by a brand called True and it's called the Ultimate Two Way Deep Cleanse. It's got wild pansy, comfrey and vitamin E in it and it's just a really really good, um, it's a really good brand. I think it's actually Australian because when I googled this and I wanted to buy it again I actually wanted to repurchase this and um, I don't know if I found it on Amazon or something but um, it was like for an extortionate price. So yeah I think this is an, is this? Or maybe it's an English, no I think it's, oh wait, it says manufactured in the UK, I think it's an English brand, but yeah it's a really really good um, creamy gel, um, creamy cleanser for your face, and I can't remember if this lathers up, no it's not one of those ones that lathers up, and you can use it on a cleansing pad as well, use it to um, remove makeup, but I don't really bother with that, I just rather put it all over my face and then use a flannel and use that to um, get rid of um, all my makeup, and it was so effective as well, it smelled really nice, it felt it smelled like um it's comparable to the Liz Earl um what do you call it you know the the popular Liz Earl cleanser it's comparable to that in terms of how it makes me feel and um, the fact that it actually works as well and it's like all natural so it's kind of that kind of um uh, in terms of branding that's where it falls so yeah so this is a really really good cleanser I don't know where you can get this apart from Amazon um, yeah so it's a really really good cleanser and then once I've cleansed my face I'll just move on to toners so I think I have so I have two toners here um, the first one I want to talk about is the um, is a brand is a, one of the own brand um, is one of Superdrug's own brand products it's naturally radiant that's the name of the brand and this is the glyconic glyconic glycolic tonic 5% glycolic acid 
toner and it says it awakens your skin's natural glow smooths tones and brightens skin it has this amazing smell the only problem with this is like it's only 100 ml so you go through this I mean if you think about the fact that you have to dab this on a cotton pad possibly two cotton pads this I went through I think in the space of like two and a half weeks maybe three weeks and that's a push so I expect my toners to last a lot longer than that so it's a tiny teeny tiny bottle it has some really good ingredients in here um, it says it has um, apart from glycolic acid it has a couple of herbs in here um, or it has the I'm not going to read all of this but yeah you can definitely check this out as super drugs and it's a really really good um, glycolic toner um, it's a good alternative to the other toner I'm going to talk about and I would repurchase this the only thing is i would probably wait for it to be on offer i think full price it's like 4.99 or something thereabouts i wouldn't buy that for this small amount i need it to be at least 200 ml for me to feel like i'm getting value for money and this one is so this is actually 240 ml and i'm talking about the ordinary um, glycolic acid seven percent toning solution and everyone and their mom has heard about this this is you know a very popular toner and it also has glycolic acid in it obviously and it also has pepperberry extract pepperberry extracts or something thereabouts yeah so the only thing is this i think i can use can i use during the day yeah so the only thing is so this i can use daily maybe because the glycolic acid isn't so so strong in here this i can use during the day and at night this says ideally you should use it um at night so uh, it's an alpha hydroxyl acid so um i think it's sensitive to light and obviously to um to the sun so you your skin will be more sensitive to the sun rather if you use products like this so they are recommended for you to for you to use them at night and if you are using something like this you need to be using sunscreen during the day so um yeah so this is a really good product the only thing is i'm not sure i would buy this again and i know that sounds crazy because everybody loves this i don't know anybody that doesn't love this this solution but i don't know i think there was just something extra soothing about this one compared to this this i don't know i feel like it maybe maybe it didn't cause my skin to flare up but I feel like it it did something it didn't make my skin it just I don't know I don't know what it was but I don't feel like I would buy this again I mean maybe I would I mean it's not definitely not a bad product I know based on the reviews that it does work but I'm not sure if it worked for me in this in the way that I wanted it to maybe I put I put so much pressure on on this <laughs> this this bottle to do what it couldn't do I don't know but yeah um I don't know yeah it's up to you i mean the jury's out i personally probably wouldn't buy it unless it was marked down or something yeah and that's about it but yeah i would buy this if it was an offer though so um the next products i wanted to talk about were other products from the ordinary that i have actually used so the first one is the ordinary vitamin c suspension 23 percent plus ha spheres so this is the controversial one so this is the first vitamin c um product that they brought out and uh, a lot it's, it's kind of like a hit and miss a lot of people liked it and, and an equal amount of people hated it they hated it because it had a gritty texture and it took time to dissolve into your skin um, and also because some people experience burning sensations and that was me so this was um, very hard to deal with I mean when you say beauty is pain this really taught me that beauty is pain I felt I felt like my face was on fire you know when they say in this marketing adverts that oh you know you might feel a slight tingling sensation no your face is on fire okay so this was not comfortable to use the first few times and I, I know you probably think if, if, if your face was on fire why did you use it again because I'm stingy and I like to get my money's worth I pay good money for this and I'm trying to use it up so I feel like my face actually did um, feel better um, I think probably on the third use it wasn't as bad at all I just put my I put the fan on and then I put this on my face and I just put my face in the fan and that's how I used it and after a while the tingling was like non-existent so your face does get used to it so if you do have that kind of reaction as long as you don't break out in a rash or something severe try it again and try a smaller amount or maybe try mixing it with another with another moisturizer and then put that on your skin so your skin gets time to get used to it so yeah i, I probably i would need to buy this again because i have the l ascorbic powder now and that is the actual ingredient in here that is the vitamin c so i have that so i wouldn't buy this again but not because i couldn't deal with it but because i have something that's easier to work with and this also um this is also available with a 30 percent solution in silicone and that's supposed to be easier to deal with i actually bought that but i haven't used it yet for some reason i keep forgetting i have it so i would try it and let you know how that works out as well but yeah so this i wouldn't buy but not 
because I hated it because it did work and the good thing about this it definitely brightened your skin so after a few days of using it you will see your skin looks brighter and um, acne like if you have scars and discoloration they will start to look like they're going lighter and I think they definitely did with me my acne scars were definitely helped with this product so it's really really good so you can try and see how you find it or you can just go straight to the LS Corbett powder and I think that might actually be easier for most people so the next thing I want to talk about is Azelaic Acid Suspension 10% and it's meant to be a multifunctional brightening formula. Again, I bought this to lighten up my acne scars and hyperpigmentation. Um, and yeah, so the only thing about this, I think it actually purged my skin. So Azelaic Acid is known for doing that um, to some people. Not everybody will experience that. I did. I feel like I kind of started breaking, up, break, breaking out in a few um, spots. And the only thing is when that happens, it can take your skin up to six months and that's dedication and time I don't have. It can take your skin up to six months to get used to it and you know um so yeah that's not something that i would have um had patience to do and i stopped and started stops and started just to see if that would make a difference maybe if i give my skin a break it would work again but i don't think my skin enjoyed using this and i haven't actually finished this there is still a little bit left i don't know if i will try it again i don't know i keep it and see but um, I probably won't be repurchasing this one so the next product from the ordinary is the hyaluronic acid Everybody loves hyaluronic acid. Um, it's like the inoffensive neighbor that says hi and bye to everybody and collects your post and everything is just all nice and dandy. Um, I don't know anyone that has anything bad to say about hyaluronic acid. It's an acid that doesn't act like an acid because it just basically softens your skin and plumps it up, keeps it moist and um, yeah, which is what you want. And this contains um, hyaluronic acid 2% and, and B5. So this is like I think this was the first no this is the second bottle i probably i'm probably on my fourth bottle now i want to say i use this every day and every night mostly and it's just a really good um serum to keep your skin feeling soft supple and moisturized and i would buy that again obviously i bought it four times um the next product is niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent this product um is meant to be really really good for um discoloration hyperpigmentation and acne scarring that kind of thing um and i feel like this i think this was my first bottle and when i finished using it it took me a few months to repurchase it again because i don't feel like i saw the results that i wanted to see and that's probably because i expected it to work within a few weeks and i think it actually takes months so i am obviously i have been using it now and i am i am seeing results and my skin is looking better texture is going down and um, um, acne scars are lightening and yeah so I think at first try you need to probably go through at least maybe two bottles or maybe three bottles of this using it every day and possibly every night to see the result but yeah um, it's definitely a really good um, product um, to try especially if you have blemish prone skin this is a good product to try I would recommend it and the next product is the ordinary um, salicylic acid 2% solution now this this is bay okay I don't think I've ever said that on this channel but this is bay this is really really good for shrinking spots um, so if you've heard about you know things like the Mario Badescu drying lotion things like that and controversially the, the products the key active ingredients in the Mario Badescu drying lotion are I think salicylic acid and um, calamine lotion did you know that so I have both and I'm not going to spend my money on something like that if I know I can either do um, create it myself or use either ingredients I have calamine lotion and I'm going to feature it in another video and tell you how I use it um, but yeah so salicylic acid is um, really really good especially this one I don't know I can't speak for all the other serums out there but this one um, if I put it on an active spot or put it in an area where I'm starting to get breakout within sometimes overnight it actually goes down significantly to where it's non-existent or by the next day or at least maximum if it's one of those really really stubborn spots that doesn't have a face but hurts and it's just there on your nerve like just like high 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 this takes care of those really stubborn ones in like two to three days or so something they're about um yeah so this is a really really good find um it's one of my most loved products from the ordinary i'm just so glad i have it i'm on my second bottle now this is my first one and you only need a drop of this so this took me ages to finish and then on to two other simple products so 
some motorbikes there. So two simple products. Um, one is the a day cream, the other is a night cream. Exact same packaging. And this is the simple regeneration age resisting night cream. It has green tea goodness in it. So um, it has all the other normal ingredients that normally um, that simple products have, which is vitamin, um, which is vitamin B5, I think. And um, yeah, so this is it's just say it's a smile. It's, it's simple. Uh, it's simply uh, it's simple. Our uh, regeneration age resistant night cream has active ingredients that revitalize and restore your skin throughout throughout the night perfect for even sensitive skin so um i don't have the box anymore to say all the products it has in it check it out at super drugs i bought this at half price and I, that was the reason i bought it because it was um two pounds 99 or two pounds 89 so yeah um and it's been on offer for a long time as well so i don't know if it currently still is but check it out though it's definitely really really good um doesn't irritate my skin makes my skin feel really soft and moisturized <coughs> So I use the day cream during the day obviously and the night cream at night and they have kind of like a similar consistency. I can't actually tell the difference and I'm hoping they are very different because well exact same packaging, they feel the same, they smell the same, are they different, do you need both? Who knows but um i think maybe the night cream might be slightly more moisturizing than the day cream the day cream might be slightly lighter in texture which is what you want anyway so yeah so try it and see but i'll definitely recommend this i'm on to my second set of day and night cream and yeah so it's a really really good um, um moisturizer that just smooths into your skin really really nicely and then another moisturizer that I absolutely loved was by Garnier. Yeah, take a shot every time I say Garnier. So um, this is the Moisture Bomb and this is the Antioxidant Super Moisturizing Gel Cream. I think it has, I want to say, is it pomegranate? I think it's pomegranate. I can't remember. I think, yeah, pomegranate must be the antioxidant, you know, ingredient, um, well, fruit in the actual moisturizer and it's um you can't see what you, know, you can't even see anyway but um it's a it's a blue gel and it's just really really moisturizing it makes my skin feel i think it makes my skin feel even softer than this so um, when i first i think i had this um i didn't try it consistently and then when i actually realized how soft my skin was feeling when i woke up the next morning i use this um every day the only thing is i think i bought it for like 3.99 on offer and i think full price is 5.98 i'm a bit stingy and 3.99 is about my limit for like drugstore moisturizers so um i'll probably wait until it's on offer and then buy it again but I definitely would buy it I just would I'm not sure I would buy it at $5.99 especially if I have these at $2.99 so yeah um, you definitely can you know you can buy this at super drugs or boots a few full unique I think I bought this off full unique actually yeah I think I did and it's just really really good moisturizer you don't need a lot as well so you only get 50 ml so you might think the bottle you know this is a really big jar but um it's one of those bottles that looks bigger on the outside than it is on the inside but you don't need a lot so this will last you a good while maybe say a month and a half two months and by using like a pea size and all you need is a pea size for your face and your neck so the last thing i want to talk about is my our heart makeup fixing spray and this is obviously from the several brands that are under the revolution beauty brand which is previously tan beauty and this i want to say might be I think next to the new one that I do have, this is the Sport Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray. And this is my new favorite out of all the fixing sprays and setting sprays. This one I really, really like. I think um, it's, yeah, it's a really, really good one. And I think it holds my skin almost as good as the Sport Fixing Spray. The other ones I've tried, um, especially the oil control one, I think my skin still gets oily like um, a bit earlier than it does with this one. So yeah, I definitely like it. I don't remember it having a, any kind of special scent. It smells a bit alcoholy, but to be honest, I'm used to that scent and it just holds my makeup and it doesn't break me out. So yeah. I definitely use it and it says it's meant to last for up to 12 hours it doesn't last for 12 hours i think my face usually gets oily around six to seven hour mark on a good day seven to eight hours so yeah this i definitely um repurchase but i do have others on the go so once i finish that i'll go back onto this mm. yes that brings me on to the end of my video um that brings me on to the, on to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed and uh, if you do end up purchasing any of these products let me know how you find them i'd like to know that would be really helpful to see if anybody else had the same experience as me or if, they, if the experience was different and yeah so if you found this helpful please don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button comment share share the love share the recommendations and yeah and i will catch you in my next video stay blessed bye